My quick calculations uh, based off of the 2019 revenue for PG&E put the equivalent fine for somebody making 50 grand a year at $100. That's speeding ticket money and 84 people are dead. Yet PG&E tried to pay that money out of the victim's fund in bankruptcy court. How do you possibly justify that? Well, I think the overall solution is much bigger than that. If you look at the I'm not talking about the overall solution. I'm talking about the behavior and the trust of this company that people have no choice but to be a customer of if they live in the right zip code. Well, I, what I'm trying to address is the overall restitution to the victims is much larger than strictly the fine here. And that's nothing we do is going to bring back the lives of the people that were lost here. That's just straightforward and simple. What we can do is do everything in our power to rebuild help these people rebuild the community and their lives and that's what we're focused on and that goes beyond the fines today it goes broader to the wildfire uh, victims fund and uh, i think that's the broader picture but none of it brings back the lives lost or the uh, addresses the emotional impact of what's happened here a person would be in prison for 90 years the judge said that's a life or death sentence however you want to look at it for a human being why shouldn't the state be looking at revoking your monopoly license? Well, that's up to the, um, that's up to other people to address. I'm here that to you lobby to address the problem. And that you have donated to their campaigns. I mean, do you honestly think you'd be returning to profit if you hadn't donated to eight out of 10 members of the legislature and the governor's campaign right now? I'm focused on fixing this company. I haven't been looking at lobbying or any of those things. I'm focused on what's going on in the future of this world and future of this business and fixing the things that have to be done. We have to focus on the culture of the, of the company and getting a sense of urgency and a sense of commitment and a, a sense to get these problems fixed. And that's, much, that's what we do to fix this situation. But what about accountability? I mean, these are the same words that were said after San Bruno. I can run your statement in there right next to your San Bruno I apology can't. ad, and it's gonna be almost verbatim. I recognize that no apology, no plea, no sentencing, can undo that damage. While an apology alone will never be enough. All of us know that actions speak louder than words. Actions can make PG&E safer. I can't trust that. I've been doing operations for 40 years. I know what it takes to fix problems. I can't address San Bruno. I can't address what did or didn't happen from that. All I can focus on is what we need to do to fix this situation. Going forward, if you didn't have a monopoly, do you honestly expect anyone would choose to be your customer? That's, so. that's it. Thank Thanks, you. Everybody. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Thank you. Larry.